Marie Brown, domestic servant, age 16, broke Cassidy over pregnancy no prenatal care, extreme swelling of feet, low blood pressure needs careful observation. Gloria Samuels, unemployed, age 18, 13 old Avenue, Kingston 13, labor induced as a result of fight, but who was on head and neck. Didi Ali, unemployed, age 16, 26 perfect pathway, concrete jungle. Yvonne Scott, unemployed, age 14, no address given. She claims her grandmother threw her things out and told her not to come back. Try and back answer me. You see, never 
Kiss your kiss your teeth. No, ma'am. First of all, it was me and this girl. What is this, Alucin? Seems as if someone is here caught. Look around here, funny. Look around here, funny. Don't touch me, I'm fooling you. Let me put on my glasses. Something is wrong somewhere, and I should solve this problem. Search yourself for me, dear. Can you get any coffee? <laughs> no, Maddie. Mm -hmm. I don't get any either. <laughs> come here, Annika. I said to come here. I think I'm more less with you this thing coming from. Now raise the skirt, dear, for me. Are oh, you getting on so jumpy? What do you think I'm not here that I don't know? Come on. Do you want me to see the skirt? See, it's worse now. You see, it doesn't mean what the hell you know is what, ma'am. Aye, aye. That's why you have to calm yourself down and let me explain to you. For you are to understand that I lash is older than beer. Mm. Yes. 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 You are now unclean. Dirty. Oh. This is called your monthly cycle. <laughs> Did it down at the 
bottom of the yard are playing with my friend. And we only hear some gossip.
Sassi, vuoi altro?
But the me about the problem, I think we can't be solved. What kind of problem? But the you know, see, come here, I'm ready. I won't talk to you for the day. But the mama could look so stupid. I just said, you was on the field. But the me does put one part of this walk, you know. I in a deep sleep if you will come to the one piece of the go for me. Then I had you all this girl in the yard. Don't bother to go for them. I said, well, we're ready to have it to come to us. So she in a train for your wife, you didn't have to do nothing. No. I don't want to say she comes and me for your quarter more. How much? Then go and pass it. Pass it to the other one to give me back. So how are you going to know? No, no, no. That's how I come to you for help. Kiss me. All I can tell you is this. Take the part of the money and make a go with that town. No, I'm not saying. All right. You're not a family at all. You're not a family at all. You're not a family at all. But I don't know what you're finding. Don't worry about that. All we have to do is see a policeman and he will direct me. So, Patsy, what do you mean, idiot? With what? After the teeth, Mama Tenpon, you're not supposed to see your dress. Hey, Mama Tenpon, this man say your teeth, you're not a Tenpon. I know so many. But when you look for me, I have to do it, it's me a teeth. So the teeth and the Tenpon print out by you? Listen, you see right here now, I have to go catch it easily. So you see if you are home, make haste. What's it? Who left me? I'm a bully, I'm a pen. Come on, let's say you're not getting money. You won't have the money for it. 
like you. You know these boys out the street or them gin and shit. And you look at yellow, you're frisky. I am not going to beat your darling. Come on, just tell me somebody trouble you. No, daddy. If I nobody not trouble you. No, daddy. If I somebody trouble you. Nobody not trouble you. Oh, oh, God, remember me. Remember your sweet loving daddy. Look at me. Look at this nice pretty dress that you're wearing. Eh? Look at this big house that you're living in. You're going to hide things from me. Come on, man, tell me somebody to go be up. Nobody in trouble me, man. Dear God. <laughs> it is me talking to you, you know. Are you pleading with you because I don't want anything bad to happen to me? It's a matter of fact. What is happening to you now will understand that it happened to me. I don't have to go and tell you about everything. It will be your secret and my secret. Because you will keep it secret, man. Okay. From my trouble, you're going to keep it secret, Daddy? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Daddy, me can't really tell you everything. Everything, Daddy. Everything. You don't make no sense, man. You don't be fine, you Daddy. Yes, me love. <laughs> you remember the other day when you said we could have Miss Freeman, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> when one of the boys did down here. Which boy, yeah? The real little of the family said we must go shut Miss Freeman. Which one of the boys did down here? But he said Miss Freeman said we must go in the window, and that's why he said. Yes. Can we still go towards the window? Which one of the boys did down here? Everyone who are here. And before we reach the room door, we'll go right in. Which one of the boy then that? Which one of the boy then? <laughs> he come back at me. Mm -hmm. And then he grab me from back me. What him do? And then he throw me down from the bed. Which one of the boy then that? Tell me which one.
I quote, Woody Allen, you have a big boy. He's ten pounds. And what's Scott? You have a little boy. He's five pounds. He has a mole on his tummy. Just let them be nervous. They're <laughs> all being discharged this morning. As soon as you're ready, the exit is just up the corridor and to the left. Tell you, nurse. We know our way from here. So what we have to know? Men them understand, understand so serious. Men them understand so serious. Men them 